next. All right, Dr. Paul, you've launched a petition seeking clemency for Edward Snowden. People can find and sign that petition at ronpaulchannel.com. Just click on the Take Action button. It's gotten 20,000 plus signatures so far in just five days. How many signatures do you need and who are you submitting this to? Well, this will, this will go to the president, and you know it has no legal force. So the more, the better. Public pressure is very important, and I think it was the public pressure that many of us put on the president uh, and Grassroots America said that we shouldn't be uh, taking on bombing of Syria and that we maybe ought to consider talking to the Iranians. So public pressure is very, very important. So if we get uh, 500 names, that's not much public pressure. But we're going to get a lot more than 500 names. We're going to get thousands of names and hope Hopefully they will pay attention. And matter of fact, uh, you know, I've been on the short end of a lot of votes in Washington, but I feel good about this because the majority of the American people are with us on this uh, petition of clemency uh, for Snowden. They think that he uh, has not committed, uh, you know, a crime deserving a, a punishment of somebody who was a, a traitor and all the talk and even putting Glenn Greenwald in prison. Be uh, there's a total misunderstanding of those who oppose this and what the First Amendment is all about. Out. I mean, we went through all the way the Supreme Court after Daniel Ellsberg finally told us the truth, you know, about what went on in Vietnam. So that's what the American people are looking for. It's so discouraging because right now we have a government that claims they have total secrecy and their job is to destroy our privacy. But in a true republic that protects liberty, we should have our privacy and government should be open. So we need to turn that around. And the American people, I believe, are with, you, with us on that issue. Well, Congressman Paul, when is it appropriate to punish someone who leaks uh, information? And, and is there a double standard when it comes to official leaks that emanate from the White House or the State Department uh, and with leaks like the one that uh, Edward Snowden was responsible for or, or Chelsea Manning? Yeah. Well, no, I, I think the official ones are much worse because they're politically driven and they're done with the uh, confirmation, you know, of all the leadership and it's all propaganda, uh, where if somebody is motivated as a citizen and he earn, honestly believes he's defending the Constitution and he's telling the American people the truth when the government stands up there and lies to us constantly. I don't know why anybody would uh, not agree with this, especially under the conditions today of having our current president. Every night I see on TV on where he told us this lie, this lie, this lie. But government officials are never punished for that. So I think the individual who is motivated to tell us the truth and he's defending his oath of office or his promise to defend in the Constitution, that's when I think the clemency should come in because technically the law has been broken. But which law should supersede? You know, should it be the Constitution or some law that is illegal in that say is that uh, we're not allowed to have our privacy? So when the government lies to us, oh no, we don't spy on the American people. Why do those, why do they get off scot-free? Uh, and, well, and then a, a guy like Clement, and then the guy, and a guy like Snowden comes along, and they want to put him in prison for treason. Yep, it's they, pretty they, and, you know, there, there's some people who've uh, publicly said they they want to put him on a kill list. Hey, Dr. Paul, thanks very much for taking the time. Thank you. Good Way to be to with kick you. Off the show, beautiful.